We're in Savai Madhupur. Just next to Radhamur, and with me, of course, BJP star campaigner Rajivardhan Rathor. Hi, thanks for speaking with us. Pleasure. This is your first, as such, experience in full-time, full-on campaigning. Mm. Three weeks of it, right? How's yeah. it been? I think uh, it's an amazing learning. It's, really? a, it's a great lesson. Uh, first of all, it's hats off to these people. Mm. I mean, we do keep complaining about politicians, and all said and done. Uh, they're good and they're bad, uh, people all around, in all, all fields. But if we just focus on the people who are good in politics, they're supermen mm -hmm. or superwomen, you know. They kind of, uh, from morning to evening, they continuously... How many kilometers would you clock each well, it's, day? Well, it's, it's not, not just traveling, but being in access to, uh, accessible to people, yeah. be, uh, talking on different aspects doing research and all that work takes place when, you're, when it's time to sleep actually you know right, and there's yeah. no time to eat yeah. or there's plenty of things to eat because everyone wants to feed you yeah so it's amazing i mean and and interesting. you're thriving in it are you thriving <laughs> uh it's a little too early to say yeah but uh, nevertheless uh, i'm kind of reminded of my military life back again really um you know that's a lieutenant's life or a captain's life always on the edge boots are always on uh, the thinking cap is always on. Yeah. You're alert to the environment. Yeah. The environment is there to gobble you up, but you got to survive. You know, it's like that. Really? So, so it's tough, huh? It is tough. I mean, but then that's what it, that's what challenges are. I mean, if you want to live a life, that's what I believe in. Yeah. And unless I don't have a challenge, it means you're not moving ahead. But the idealism with you came in with, is that still intact? You know, half of my... Or do you realize that, oh my God, I was being too idealistic. Actually, it's a job which they're doing really well and you know I mean have you had a reality check because I know that you came in with really ideas. reality check is happening every day in all our lives give me an example I want specific what you thought and what it turned out to be because you know oh, we people as, said people huh? said that it's a tough life right now this is the difference between hearing it's a tough life and experiencing a tough life yeah right so uh, I mean things to that effect but then I, I totally give me I, an anecdote of things you'd never thought that Rajavardhan, the politician, is going to do, have to do. No, I think the first and foremost is, you know, in, in, I mean, as simple as that, in military, you're continuously speaking in English. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. And suddenly you, you, you start, um, you, you know, uh, engaging with all Hindi words, and, yes. and especially in Bharatiya Janata Party, where all of our top leaders are yes. like uh, so how's phenomenal your speakers. I, I'm, I'm are getting Are you saying good. BJP or Bhajpa? That's the first thing. <laughs> okay. Since I was on your channel, I said Bharti Jadha, yeah. but Bhajpa, bilkul. Yeah. Nahi, bohat, uh, bohat bolte aur bohat bolte I know you speak really well as a sports person and as an Olympic medalist and all that because we've heard your interviews. But when you become Rajavardhan Rathor speaking for Bhajpa, speaking for BJP, what do you say in your speeches? No, I think I just speak from my heart. What do you tell them? And it's not about, I, I truly believe in nationalism. I mean, that's what uh, I'm absolutely completely died in uh, in patriotism and I just speak on that basis uh, and you tell people to vote for Narendra Modi absolutely I believe uh, because I, our I belief it's yeah. a hope and I, and I say it perhaps we could be wrong but let's let's go check it out that we are right or we are wrong it's you know, time for a change when I heard you first speak about Narendra Modi when you joined and of course he was the one who inducted you in that ceremony with Diya Kumari who you were campaigning for you said he he, he is an answer to the threat that the nation faces. Those are the, your words. Yeah. What did you mean? What is the threat that you see our country facing? The very fact that we are being divided for votes. Uh, the very fact that for the last 60 years, I don't think so, the kind of development that's taken place, uh, that kind of development that ought to have reached the masses has happened. Uh, there is a political party that speaks about upliftment of the masses. That's their vote bank. But the vote bank seems to be at the same place. Okay. There are there is a particular religion which they say that that's absolutely in our pocket. They will come what may vote for us. What's happened to that religion? People of that religion, they are exactly at the same place. Mm -hmm. So what India are we talking so about? So the alleviation of the minorities of Muslims, which you believe there is an appeasement by the Congress, that actually was one of your driving forces. It's, it's a whole, uh, I would say, bouquet of reasons there. And um, the idea is that 
we start in a direction where we can start overcoming those challenges. Mm. We start moving ahead. You said that what drove you towards, attracted you towards Modi was that the other side was dividing votes. Many people say Narendra Modi is the one who's dividing people. His opponents, a lot of other liberals also, non-political people also feel he's a controversial figure. What would you say to them? And they'd say, Rajivartha Rathor, you, you were apolitical, you were a hero. Why are you getting into politics and why are you, you know, uh, what do you say to them? I'm... Um, to people who I, say I, that Modi I, I, is a divisive figure. I am at the base of it a very simple person. I can't walk a tightrope between, uh, between neither of the sides. Yeah. You have to take a I'm side. I'm a foggy. I yeah. immediately get onto a side. Okay, that's interesting. And, uh, and you chose let Modi's me, let side. Me relate, yeah. Let me relate this to people who say that Modi is dividing. Uh, for many, many years, the sole existence of one of our neighboring countries has been to tell their people that we are at threat, we are at war. Forget the development. Pick up your swords and weapons. Be ready to fight. They have been doing that for years and years, there's been no development there because the people there truly believe because of the lies told to them over and over again. Are we, as Indians, people are hearing, are we truly uh, um, just waiting for a war with this neighboring country? We are not. We are developing ourselves. We are not interested. So that's a complete lie on the other side of the territory or the mm -hmm. borders. Mm -hmm. And on this side of the border, there is again a big lie going on. Which that is. nationalism is being hijacked by a certain community. I can't feel there can be anything farther from truth. Nationalism being hijacked by a particular community, then how come the armed forces is the most nationalist institution? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And we have, yeah. we have religious places all together. Yes. And we fight together. We, we could have our differences, but they, they're never aired. We are not divided. So, so I believe that this is being done so that there is a fear amongst a certain community and because of that fear that community never thinks about development but about their personal safety and security and and on that like a agenda fear psychosis. like a fear psychosis and on on that agenda they will never ever be able to see the development that the other side is capable of and that is being proven in gujarat so you went controversies to and went controversies and saw? can be created. I've studied in Gujarat. Oh, really? Uh, Is that where your fascination and admiration from Narendra Modi comes from? But that well, must have been, he really. wasn't in power I'm, that not time. Not really. I mean, long time back. Yeah. Is, I'm just saying that, you know, being in the, uh, having grown up in military background, I've studied all around. And um, Did he also I've, appeal to you as a, you know, uh, as someone who was just... A doer. Yeah. He's a doer. Absolutely. And And the fact that I'm sorry to, yeah, and, and the fact that some people, because you know, just because Muzaffar Nagar has happened and Amit Shah has been a huge controversy, so people point out and say that they are, while yes, you're right, many people say, the people who are in the middle, they say that yes, there is horrible appeasement by the Congress, but here there is alienation of the minorities. You don't think that, how do you fee see them reaching out to the minorities? Because since you brought that up. There are so many barriers being put. Psychological barriers are the, are the biggest barriers. Physical barriers can be crossed. Okay. The psychological barriers is so difficult to go through. One of the persons asked me, he said that uh, the BJP is doing so much now to, to show that they are open to the, the other religion, the, the community, which has not been with them. What do you think? Will they be with you? And I said, apart from that community, and of course, we are standing with the arms open here. It's up to them to come and hug us. We're standing. We're walking towards them. But more than that, half of the nation feels that we are secular. Tell me five, six things that you've, a few things that you've learned as a politician. I not so namaste Okay, one, okay. That you will do a lot of namastes, okay. Absolutely. Okay. I, you know, have been, been a typical Fauci, uh -huh. so unless somebody smiles at me, I don't usually smile back. Oh, but now, <laughs> but now, I'm smiling at all the people, <laughs> even if they are not smiling back at me. Right? Good one, yeah. And? So, uh, I think my wife would be pretty happy with yeah, that. Yeah, I was just about to she, say. She keeps saying, yeah. smile, yeah. smile a little more. Much more social, yeah. I say, it's okay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. yeah. Uh, always keep food in 
in my bag. Oh, fabulous. That's a, you've, when did you, day two? You, did you pick it up on the day two? After the first day you of know, campaigning? Yeah, <laughs> I had heard that, you know, there's a lot of chai, there's a lot of things. To hell with it. There's, there's just sometimes there's no chai. Yeah, that's <laughs> Nothing right. at all. There's not even water. I know. And yeah. So, so well, now you you always have stacked something or the other. Good one. Yeah, that's a good lesson. What else? Well, I guess I'll keep learning. Right? <laughs> that's very very good. And you know, because you, we spoke so much about Narendra Modi. Last point, the other person. It's supposed to be a Modi versus Rahul Gandhi fight. Mm -hmm. When you were coming into politics, what did you think about him? I know that you keep referring to the Congress as the other party, the other party. I don't take name, that's about it. I'm I trying know. not to take well, a name. What yeah. do you think about Rahul Gandhi since it's a, it's Namo Raga as they call it? I think at heart he's a simple guy. I think at heart he doesn't want to be where he is. Mm. Unlike you. I want to be where I am. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's uh, it's challenging and painful, but I want to be where I am. I, I'm just driven that way. Yeah. I wish I could be more relaxed. I, I wish I had a different mindset. As I keep telling people that, you know, averages. They say, you 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 know, these these are normal people. I say normal people are better people. They're enjoying their life at yeah. least. You know. So. I mean, why talk about him so much? So the point is that yeah, at heart he's a simple person. But. At the, doing the, you I, are, you're I not convinced. I, I, I don't think so. He wants to do what he is doing. It doesn't reflect on what he is doing. He is at such a platform. He could do wonders. But he is not. He's not. Because you feel that he is not really doing what he wants to I am do. As a, I am as a citizen feeling that. And I am sure there are millions of citizens out there feeling the same. Finally, Rajavardhan Rathor, a lot of young people are always asked, you know, why don't you want to do job? join politics and they always say it's not the right kind of thing and I would ask you as as a normal person asking uh, someone who's an icon I mean Olympic medal, medals are so so rare in this country you got one you were at you're, you're at the top why would you do you think you're risking sullying your name by joining with politics which is not considered the most noble of professions especially these days and why would you want to I do people ask you are you mad are you insane why are you doing this you know, I was asked this question at a place in Ajmer, since you're coming from Ajmer. And it's a little political answer. I mean, I, I, yeah, understand, yeah, I understand that people understand what's a political yeah, answer yeah. and not. So I told them that, you know, everyone said, why did you politics? Why did you come here? Why did you come here? Why did you come So I said that when you're going on the road, you're wearing the clothes and your mother falls down in the road. Why did you come here? 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 Because my clothes are bad. You jump into it and you pick your mother up, right? That's yeah. what you do. We love this country, right? So, you know. Great analogy. Perfect to end on. Thanks, Rajavardhan. Okay. Thanks care. very much.